Hey everybody, today I want to show you how to wrap a package with ribbon. It may seem intuitive, it is not. There is a better way. So the traditional way, you go, you know, cross, flip it over to the back side. You can see it's the back side, I got my tape. And then cross your ribbons, like so, and then bring them to the front to tie. But like this makes your package kind of wobbly. Your package doesn't sit flat. It makes it really, unattractive, I think, especially if you're talking about having a big fat ribbon, then the bump underneath can be really, really large. So I'm going to teach you a better way. So give yourself an end, say like mine is actually, I've got a thing right here. It's probably about eight inches, um, for a nice, you know, little bow. It's not terribly long. You could make it longer if you like. And then, so hold it still on the front, wrap underneath, so now you've got both ends on top, then cross. So I've got my tail end here, and then you can kind of hold this end with your thumb over here while you wrap underneath and bring it here. Okay, so now you can kind of get an idea of how long both ends need to be. So I've got scissors here. I'm measuring to make sure that both ends are about the same. Okay, so I've got one end, the first end anchored. This one's kind of loose. You're gonna take it and slide it underneath that end. You can actually slide it underneath that one too. So it kind of started over here and you can go completely underneath. And then you've got a solid anchor point it kind of keeps itself in place while you tie a knot. So we've got knot, flat cross on the back, which of course you can shift. You can shift it around so it's off center. But from here, now it's easy to tie your bow. So I'm gonna just actually, this one is slightly longer than this one, so I'm going to use this one as my base loop and then wrap with this one. This also helps you keep, if you have a faced ribbon, like a velveteen ribbon or something, something where the ribbon itself has as a right side and a wrong side, it'll help you keep the right side up because the ribbons are always flat and they never cross until the bow, so voila. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again with another package. Um, I'm prepping for a photo shoot. But um, one of the things that I really love about this is that you don't end up wasting any ribbon. Um, quite frequently you end up, you know, like with your ends are too long or your ends are too short, um, something like that. So you never end up with ends too long here because you never have to gauge how long your end needs to be. You can actually measure how long your ends needs to be. And here's another tip, you can also, Take, before you cut this second end, flip it underneath with your finger, and then you can hold it up while it's anchored to the other ribbon so you know how long to cut it. And then just let go of the end that's still attached to the spool and pull that out. So I've got this. I'm going to tie that knot. Everything is anchored and in place. And again, flat on the back. There you go.